I'm going to share with you eight transformational home redesign strategies that are each under a 10K. These eight tips are often forgotten in a remodel project and they can make your home feel like it's brand new again. Let's start with tip number one. Start at the front door. Home's first impressions start at the door. So does it need to be replaced or updated? And what about the doors inside of the homes? There's the panel doors that, are, that could be very beautiful and a little bit more of a solid core door is much nicer than the flat doors. And some of them are so cheap that they, you know, you can easily touch it and it knocks a hole in them. So check out your doors, make sure that they're in great condition and that they look fabulous. Tip number two, upgrade the trim and the light switches. Make sure that they're those nice toggle light switches and or whatever the latest trend is. There's some great smart home um, switches that you can use as well that, uh, that can work by just activating your voice. Um, but make sure that whatever you do, don't have those old light switches. It's a dead giveaway that your home is old and not new. Also make sure that the outlets in the room match with the switches. Sometimes they'll have an older yellowish kind of colored, an ivory colored outlet, and then they and then people will put a different colored uh, frame around it. So make sure they match, they look good with the outlets, and everything is coordinated and looks fabulous and clean and fresh together. Tip number three, three is the floors. Uh, they take up a lot of square footage, so the floors are extremely important. You want to make sure that the if it's an open Floor, uh, floor plan, have the same material run throughout the entire home. And there's a lot of information on flooring. In fact, I have a great video. Um, and you can also check out the Decor and More Academy, which covers even in more detail the best kind of flooring to use in these situations. Uh, be aware of the weight of upstairs. People will want to put the tiles throughout, but upstairs, if it's not planned for, the weight of that tile is too heavy to go upstairs unless it's um, ahead of time, if it's a brand new construction or a custom construction. Otherwise, it's something to consider. So then you might need to go with a laminate or a vinyl upstairs if you're doing a wood-looking floor or something besides tile. Carpets also is a great way, and it's not as expensive as the other alternative flooring. Uh, but it can look fabulous as well. It's not as popular. It seems to be the trend lately that there's not as much carpet, which kind of eliminates dust mites and, and the, the dirty traffic of a, of a carpet. And it wears great to, uh, to go without the carpet, but it's still a nice feel to be able to, in a bedroom and certain rooms in the home, to be able to step out onto a nice carpeted padded floor feels great on the feet. So take that into consideration. Tip number four, the best way to transform a room is always a fresh coat of paint. Now there's a lot of great tricks and wonderful new techniques that we're putting on walls besides just paint, but a real popular look right now is to do paneling on the walls. You can do shiplap or a timber wood, which you can uh, check out what timber wood is, but it kind of reminds you of the old roll top desk in a dark smoky colors that are painted like a black or a navy blue or a forest green. Those are great colors and the walls are painted that and then you have the, the wood trims that match the actual paint as well, uh, but just gives us this nice texture on a wall. Uh, another color you can go besides the, the painted is you can also do stain in the natural wood tones or else something with like a darker look. Tip number five, check out the bathrooms and make sure that they're refreshed. You'll always have a great return on your investment with your kitchens and your bathrooms and have them up to date. You can do this pretty easily. If you want, you can paint the base cabinets or put or restain them just to give them a nice fresh look and update the look if it's uh, the wrong color of wood. But it's very simple to do. If you need to replace the tops of the sinks, like the countertop, then just leave the original and go for the upper. Also look at your, your uh, faucets and your, uh, the, your fixtures. Um, just a little tip, there is a one hole, which means that it's kind of like there's just one hole and they'll have the knobs all combined um, right next to it. And your inexpensive 
faucets like that you might get from a, a hardware store, a lot of times they'll have that one hole fixture and the, the faucets, the hot and cold water, are really close to the actual spigot, which makes it hard to clean between, but you can always tell an inexpensive from one that is a lot lighter. If it has the three holes where they're separated, then it's a more expensive fixture and it looks more expensive. So that's just a little kind of tip, whether you wanna go one way or the other, that's up to you. But replace the fixtures, or you may also want to, uh, if they're not in bad shape, but you can soak them in vinegar, soak them in alcohol, and that will help to relieve some of that hard water deposits that clog up the sinks and you can kind of bring them and make them look like they're brand new again. In the bathroom, lighting. Check out that lighting because that can make a difference of night and day. It uh, Have proper lighting, but give it, it doesn't take too much to get a new bathroom bar light and that will give it an updated look as well. And typically the mirrors uh, right now, the real trend is to hang the mirrors on the walls uh, like, a, like a decorative mirror as opposed to the just square glue on the wall mirror. So round mirrors, oval mirrors, uh, different various shapes, square mirrors, but something with a simple frame around it is great. In the kitchen, that's tip number six, we're gonna talk about the cabinets and what does it take to bring those cabinets up to a new trend and a new look. And the, typically, the cabinets that just that don't go as tall, they look more dated. So a few tricks that you can do is take the upper cabinets and actually, if there's not an upper, a cabinet above the upper cabinet that goes all the way to the ceiling, you can put in a small cabinet that sits right on top and it might have glass in it so that it kind of breaks up that look and put a trim a molding on top of that if there's still room and you can get a brand new look and by painting the cabinets all the same color then it just has a nice flow to it and it really does work without having to replace all the cabinets but if your cabinets are in poor shape you might need to start over again and go from there but Painting cabinets, nowadays there's some great paints that it really looks good and it doesn't have to look like somebody painted the cabinets and then they're scratched up and they don't last well. There's some fabulous paints. Sherwin-Williams has a wonderful paint. Just go ask your local um, dealer and they can recommend the right kind of paint to use for painting cabinets and how to do it. New handles is a magical tool. Uh, adding, changing out the handles, putting new handles, another great way to, to bring it up to date. Change out any unnecessary, uh, or any appliance that are maybe mismatched or if they're starting to go out, you could change them to stainless steel. You can just give them an uplift uh, if that's what's needed in the home. It makes a lot of difference. You'll always get your investment back when you update your kitchens and your bathrooms. That's one secret. Uh, tip number seven is the windows. By adding some drapery panels to the windows, it just gives that home a finished look. Uh, I always say that a window without drapery is kind of like a picture without a frame. It needs that little touch to add a little bit of softness to a room, and it really goes a long ways. Place, make sure when you place those rods, you place them above the window, not right at the top of the window, but you go up a little bit higher. So watch if you're buying ready-made panels. You don't have to have opening and closing draperies, but just something a little soft on the sides will, will do the trick. Uh, make sure that uh, you go all the way to the floor. You don't stop them at the bottom of the window. And some people, because they, if they're ready-made, the length of them are a little shorter. So if they don't work, then don't buy them. They either need to go all the way to the ground. If you have to hem them up, that's what you need to do. But do not let them just kind of be like, you know, high water pants. <laughs> um, the other trick is to paint the windows and you can paint the, the little trim that's in the windows. And a popular trend is to paint them black. It really has a nice pop to it if that fits in with your color scheme, especially if it's a little bit more of a contemporary modern look, that black is really beautiful. Tip number eight, add outdoor living space. Don't forget to go outside because anymore, it's a huge booming trend is to live outdoors. There's the fire pits, there's uh, right built into tables, there's fire and there's water features. 
uh, um, nothing is better in the in the cool s spring and the and fall to have a fire just to kind of take that edge off and then the water in the summer is just wonderful very relaxing and it's a great place to socialize and entertain and have dinner and enjoy the outdoors people are living outside so much more so you can actually create rooms and make it look like it's really something uh, I have a whole video on outdoor living. If you like what I had to share, then hit the like button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get all of the future content that I have to share with you.